G'day guys, Cass here, and today we're going to be playing Thigh Flesh. It's an itch a free horror game because we're always going down that road, so let's get straight into the description with Thigh Flesh. Suddenly, you find yourself standing right next to your car. Your head hurts and your ears ring. The front of your car is almost wrapped around a tree and there's smoke coming from the engine. You realise that you don't know what happened or where you are. This is a solo developer project. The game was made in roughly 20 hours for the Scream Jam 2020. All assets were either created during the jam or are CCO licensed gathered from various sources. So it's one of those in middle of the road horror games that we aren't too sure on. So we're going to find out whether or not we should be too sure on it or whatever too sure means really. Let's go. Oh, it's also made in the PS1 slash 2 graphic style, which is the most important step that I forgot to mention. My car is broken. What happened to it? Where am I? Uh, I'm going to guess you're in the woods, but the woods don't go on forever. So you're in a field of trees. Having a relaxing afternoon. You know, it looks like night time. Who knows? Enter cabin E. Okay, it takes a little bit hard to read, but whatever. Hmm. Huh. Lovely. A note, it reads, no escape. Well, I'm glad that they pointed that out to me. Shh. I'm glad that they pointed that out to me really quickly. A note, it reads, thigh flesh. Okay. Consume thigh flesh and spice it well. A note, it reads, no eyes. Okay. It reads, it is here. What is here, though? Ooh, it is locked. Okay. What about this creepy painting? You got anything to say for yourself? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, I expected a little bit more of a hint than that. It's locked. We need to find a key. The bookcases don't actually exist. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Do we try and leave? All these paintings just gorgeous. Guess we try and leave. Where? Wait. Where did we come in? The door. It is gone. Okay. Well, at least we've realized the door's gone as well and I'm not losing it. So, I'm guessing we're stuck waiting for this thing to unlock. Which is a little bit PT-ish, but we aren't going to make that comment. Oh, found the key. Okay. The game continues. I don't know why the key would be hidden there. Hey, no, it reads, it won't let us go up. But yes, it has used very minor amounts of caution tape, and it has completely prevented us from ascending the stairs. It won't let you go up. What's it going to do to stop me? Rip me in half. Citation sorely needed. I've got full faith in my ability to annoy the monster into submission. Keep wandering down these stairs. I don't know if we're going to have to run up the stairs. That'll be intimidating. Ooh. Never look behind you. It sees you. Well, now I feel completely lied to. Do not turn around. I Like, every single time I read one of those notes in a horror game, what do you think I'm going to do? Fine, it's locked. So you don't want me to turn around. Okay, just walk backwards then. Gotcha. <laughs> just walk backwards then. Gotcha. So it seems like it just phases through you. Uh... Why would she start me facing a wall? That's not the proper way to spawn me in. What's that sound? Do I want to turn up? Here, let me just adjust that volume. Can you hear it any better? Because I sure can't. Is he eating something? Sacrifice. Oh, okay. Well, sure, why not? I mean, we crashed at a wood. At a woods, quote unquote. Ooh. Mate, can I some? Okay, I just got teleported across the room. Right. Was it all the nightmare? There's no door back there, buddy. We've been over as the door disappears. Find another way in. Hmm. Left. It's never the correct answer, so we're going to do it. How you doing? He's fine.
I'm so confused as to whether or not we're dreaming or it's the layout of the house or what the go is. This has to be a dead end, right? Is someone tapping their mic? Bob, Bob, Bob. Have you tried opening the door, mate? Okay, so another guy crouching in the corner. Lovely. Nice long walk back. Bum, bum, bum. Just to open the door and get it over with, mate. I know. We're starting to get scared, mate, character. Du -du 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 okay. It sounded like someone really started gunning it there, so I'm not sure what the go is. Well, there's two more ways to go. Three more ways to go. We'll go this way, less carpet. Okay, that led nowhere. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, here's the door. Don't tell me it's locked. We can enter. Okay. Job's done. I pressed E. Thank you. Ooh, car. Hello. And now there's no house. Did they fix my car? I'm trying to make a Rocky Horror Picture Show joke. Where we crashed outside the weird house. That doesn't make any sense. In its house design, we get we go through the crazy fun time adventures. Then we come out the other side, and our car's been repaired because the satanic mechanic got it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Interesting game. The graphics really, not to be mean, kind of really carried it through a lot of it. The look, don't look behind you and nothing happens, and then don't look behind you and nothing still happens. Then walking backwards, tree stuff. That's just me knowing how horror games typically work. So the, the game wasn't bad. It's just predictable which might be bad but the ambience was nice there was a lot more sounds at play and a lot more nuance to the sound ambient sounds in the game than i'm used to from horror game jam games that just get slap dashed together and it feels like the developers actually put effort in even though it was in the strange places so that's nice overall it wasn't a bad experience i'm gonna sit here and vivisect the thing like it's done something offensive it's it's a scream jam horror game and it was slightly scary at times not to me, but I'm sure to some other people. That's all you can really ask for. So, thanks for watching this video. Probably going to be a double upload today because this was a really short one. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. See yous.